you can study your own beach in your backyard and become an expert and protect that beach by just taking a photo. And that's the beauty of what this community science program has turned into. We are an organization that is fully ran by volunteers and without the help of them, um, we can't really get our data in a consistent manner. So we wanted to come up with an idea that was accessible to all people, free, and easy enough that you don't need a scientific background to really understand what we're trying to do here. And that's where the citizen science program started. It was originally the idea of Dr. Dan Reinemann. A majority of his research is focused on monitoring the coastline and specifically the surf breaks and the accessibility of these surf breaks as sea level rise affects them. He began this photo point monitoring idea with the ecological fire monitoring. And I thought, why don't we do that on the beach? we monitor our sandy beaches that are slowly starting to disappear. As many people know, the Surface Point Managed Retreat Project is the only one in the nation right now, and it has been completed since 2001. So it was a great example of how to show the difference between the crumbling bike path, not even a quarter of the mile up the road, and a fully restored functional dune system. The dunes act as a barrier to the waves and a barrier to the wind, and the plants act as an anchor for those dunes. We know the ocean's coming. That bike path is going down unless we do something. The people who know our beaches the best are the ones who are there every single day. Why not empower the people who are there the most and ask them to take photos and tell us when things are different. The photo point monitoring that we are doing here at the dunes, it utilizes this fixed camera mount on a pole um, and that allows for the beachgoers to go and capture photographs. That allows us to systematically capture changes in things like the dune morphology, the vegetation that's growing there, um, sea level rise, and of course seasonal changes. The way that it works is that a individual at the beach walks up to the pole, you mount your phone, and you set up your camera horizontally, press the button, take a photo from one side, flip to the other side of that post, and you'll take a photo of the river mouth. And then you submit those photos by emailing them to my email address, which is info at ventura.surfrider.org. And we are using those photos to create a time lapse of the past two years to show the changes that happen in our beach naturally and some that happen unnaturally. Our overall objective is to document these changes and provide historical information to better inform decision makers. Our goal is to eventually get a post at the, uh, a little further along the bike path to capture the crumbling bike path as an extreme opposite of what we're documenting at the dunes. And then eventually we wanna get a post in different cities so that we can make this more accessible to people who are in underrepresented communities. I mean, you go down to Port Wainimi and Oxnard and a lot of the kids have never been to the beach before, but they live two miles away from it. I have thought about that going forward and getting more photo point monitoring posts. We're gonna do a Spanish translation and I'm gonna focus it on being community science so that nobody feels alienated. I'm hoping to create a more inviting environment for our community to come out, look at the beach a little bit more critically than they ever would before and feel like they are doing something and being involved. We will be working a lot with the universities. Ideally, we will be working with the high schools next just to bring them out and do talks out there. Give them a sense of place and give them a sense of identity. We wanna empower them to be the experts of where they live. If in 10 years, this is something that we have across the coast for everybody to monitor and have one network, that would be my dream come true, to have everybody being able to monitor the coast and be experts on their own shoreline. So hopefully in the future, I'm looking forward to connecting and networking with other organizations and other surf rider chapters to show them how we've done this here and implemented across the board.